As we start tonight, though, at the State House, where we're learning that redistricting town hall meetings start next week and more could be on the way. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. And KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joining us live now to explain the reason behind the change. Rebecca? The first set of hearings kicks off next week, and now we're hearing a second round of meetings are being planned. This comes after pushback from some Democrats and other groups calling for more access and participation. It's critical for the public to have an opportunity to weigh in on redistricting. It's a call for more action from leaders of the state's redistricting committee to make it easier for the public to participate. 14 town halls are on the books, but some voting rights groups say it's not enough. They're all happening within two weeks and all in rapid fire, mostly on days that the public can't attend. Now a second round of hearings is in the works, which brings hope for some that people will join in on the redistricting process. Lawmakers are meeting at the Kansas State House to draw up new lines that will decide how each district's vote is counted. That's why some groups say it's critical to make sure everyone's voice is heard. People that we elect reflect the knowledge and the needs of the folks that they're there to serve. That makes for better governance. That makes for a better process. Now, the first round of hearings will be taking place across the state. The second round of meetings are expected to be taking place in the fall and mostly online. Those dates have not yet been set. Live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, thank you, Rebecca.